Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to a video that I have not done for a very long time. In fact, I'm pretty sure that most of my subscribers just did a double take when they saw this in their feed, and rightfully so. It's been roughly two, three years since my last Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and once junior year of high school hit, I really lost touch with the game. I started running out of time for it, and it was becoming very demanding on my wallet, unfortunately. It's a very expensive game when you really get serious with it, but... Regardless, today is December 25th by the time I'm uploading this, and that marks exactly five years when I made my first Yu-Gi-Oh! video on the channel. Right before I turned 13 years old, the Christmas of 2011, I opened up five booster boxes for the channel. And this was before I had 100 subscribers, and it was during a time in my life when I was really just kind of having fun. I was growing up, and it uh, it means a lot to me. This game is, it's more than a game for me. It brings back a lot of nostalgia, a lot of good memories. I met a lot of great people through it, some of which are some of my best friends today. So uh, it really means a lot to me. And I figured that I would honor that nostalgia today by opening up a box that I never really opened much of before, but Dark Beginning 2 was one of the first packs that I had opened, and it's a fairly old set, it's a reprint set of a bunch of old cards, and I love that, I, I love the old sets, I love the artwork, and I figure that opening up a set with tons of cards in it from a bunch of other sets is a great way of honoring years of play. So that's what I'm here for. Also, it was fairly cheap, and I say fairly loosely, it was roughly just under $200, which is still very pricey, not cheap at all, but Dark Beginning 1 was 300 and I just wasn't willing to go that that extra mile. I haven't bought in a box in years. I figured I didn't want to just, you know, bust the bank for this one special occasion. But regardless, let's jump right into this. I'm super excited. Haven't done this in a long time. There we go. Look at that shine. Beautiful. So believe it or not, I'm actually not too familiar with this set. Clearly you can get Swift Guy, the Fierce Knight, Blade Knight, Time Wizard, and Obnoxious Celtic Guard, but I actually don't know too much. It was just one of the first packs I opened, but I never really got that much of it. I pulled a super rare Mirror Force from it one time, but that was it. Alright, everything looks great. We have 24 packs, 13 cards per pack, which is one of the benefits of getting the Dark Beginning set, and I believe it also comes with a tip card in the beginning to help beginners out. Pretty awesome. There is that slight looming fear though that the box could be fake. Ever since I opened up that fake Legend of Blue Eyes box, I just can't help but be a little skeptical every time, but only one way to find out. Let's open this up. Good times. I also have some sleeves over here for our hollows. I believe that we are going to get, what is it, four supers and two ultras and possibly a secret. I think that was the ratio for these old packs. Not 100% sure, though. Dragon Manipulator. Starboy. Oh, yeah. Winged Minion. I remember using him. Mysterious Guard. Possessed Dark Soul. That was a cool one. Gradius's Option. Jaugen the Spiritualist. Oh, yeah. He had some play before. He's actually... He's a pretty interesting card. Well, there's our tip card. We'll put the rares. Yeah, let's put them over here. Spiritual Energy Settle Machine. Dark Piercing Light, there we go, I remember that card. Blind Destruction. Soul Demolition. And Bark of Dark Ruler. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next pack. Oh, there we go, much easier to open. Let's go over here. Gora Turtle. Dark Dust Spirit, oh. That's actually, that's a really nice card right there. This is the kind of set that you would want to duel against somebody with, like a friend. You take this entire box and then just form two decks out of it and play against each other. That's a lot of fun. A uh, Gilosaurus. King of Yummy Makai. Blackland Fire Dragon. Classic. Shadow Ghoul. He's pretty cool. Gotta love Shadow Ghoul. Ooh, Fiber Jar. Dang, I've actually, believe it or not, have never even owned one of these because it's banned. Of course, put that over here. Tip card number 14. Guess there isn't really a... Don't really need to read those. Miracle Dig. Ooh, oh. There we go. The the used-to-be-valuable Toon Table of Contents. Not sure what it's worth now anymore, but... I remember that used to be pretty big. 
Fusion Sword, Murasame Blade. Bubble Crash, and there we go. Nice, good old bottomless trap hole. The Rock Spirit. Green Kappa. Illusionist Faceless Mage. Great Moth. Battle Steer. Tornado Bird. Super Rare Spear Dragon. Oh, that's actually interesting because he was already a Super Rare in Legacy of Darkness, I believe. Interesting. You'd think they would give him a different kind of rarity. Regardless, that is very cool. Let me get a sleeve for you, little fella. Pretty nice. Good ol' Spear Dragon. That's cool. Very cool. Put you over here. The rest of the commons. Another tip card. Secret Pass to the Treasures. Spirit Message Eye. Needle Wall. There we go. Emperor's Holiday. Ominous. Fortune Telling. Well, they aren't fake. So, <laughs> we're already off to a good start. Jirai Gumo. Classic card. Mystic Horseman. Dragon Piper. Asura Priest. Sagi the Dark Clown. Zombira the Dark. Reinforcement of the Army. That's awesome. Good card. Good card. Defusion. Cool looking card. I always thought that that was very unique. Very interesting. Tremendous Fire. After... Oh, wow, they changed the name. This used to be known as After Genocide. But... Then it was changed. Obviously, because Genocide was just a little too edgy for them. A little too edgy for Konami. Drop off. Trust, mm, trap Dust Shoot. Man, <laughs> had some times with this card. Holy. That was a pain. Baby Dragon. Thousand Dragon, Aqua Spirit, King Tiger Wengu, Soul of Purity and Light, Mario Kutai, <laughs> Sasuke Samurai, pretty cool. Put you over here. Spirit Message L will probably. I, I'm not sure what rarity Destiny Board comes in. Probably Super, but maybe we'll be able to spell it. Soul of Pure, Call of the Mummy. Dragon's Rage, and Pharaoh's Treasure. Rabbit Horseman. Witch's Apprentice. Toon Goblin Attack Force. Luster Dragon number two. I think actually he used to just be called Luster Dragon, but then they made the other one, so they had to differentiate them somehow. Arsenal Bug. Twin-Headed Behemoth. He was always pretty cool. Morphing Jar. There you are. Beautiful Morphing Jar. Man, such a cool looking card. So evil. Crazy. Fun while it lasted. Heart of Clearwater. I remember using this in my old Exodia deck to make people, or make my monsters immune to battle, which was pretty awesome. Back whenever I had my very annoying to play against Exodia deck. The Allied Forces. Ordeal of a Traveler. I remember that. Old card. Bottomless Shifting Sand. Disappear. Just, just disappear. Remove from play one card from your opponent's graveyard. Pretty cool. Yeah, they weren't kidding. A lot of dragon cards. Also, sorry if I'm being a little quiet for you. It is nighttime right now, and I would not like to wake the folks up. Oh, I think I spy a hollow. Swarm of scarabs. I used to think that that card was so good. Speaking of cards that were good, Yadagarasu. Crass Clown. Launcher Spider. Always a goodie. Dream Clown. Thunder Dragon, nice. And, ooh, Air Knight Parshath. Another card that was, no, was this super originally? I think I might just be thinking of my copy that I have, because I do have a super rare of this, and I think it is Dark Beginning too. Regardless, it is a very cool card. Air Knight Parshath. Huh, awesome. Sleeve it up. So that's two of our, I believe it's four supers that we'll be getting. Spirit Message N. Book of Moon, very nice. Black Illusion Ritual. Magical Thorn and Burst Breath. I would just, I would love to pull a Dark Gaia, or a Swift Dark Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Such an awesome looking card. 
true warrior, Inaba White Rabbit, the Immortal of Thunder, Moisture Creature, what the heck? I've barely seen this card. If you tribute some of this card by tributing three monsters on the field, destroy all spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field. So it's like Guilford the Lightning, but for spells and traps. Wow. Whoa, Luminous Soldier, haven't seen this one either. Huh. This card battles with a dark monster, increase the attack of this card by 500 points during damage step. Awesome. That's what I love about these old cards too, you get to see some new stuff, even though it's pretty old. Possessed Dark Soul and a Pyramid Turtle, not bad at all. Stamping Destruction, Double Snare, I always thought that was cool. <laughs> Reckless Greed, nice. Tomb Defense, and Needle Sealing before... It was like kind of like the poor man's Torrential Tribute, and because I think you could run three, Swarm of Locusts. Troop Dragon, there we go. I like that guy. Toon Cannon Soldier. Exiled Force. <laughs> Look at those guys. Bad news. Oh, whoops. Twin Headed Wolf. Ryukishin Powered. Last turn. Holy, this freaking card. Got so much text. Look at that. Can't even focus all the way, it's so tiny. That's messed up. Oh, last turn. Crazy card. Pyramid Energy. Mirage of Nightmare. They got some good commons in this set, I will say. Robin Goblin. <laughs> in the beginning, this card was my nightmare. I hated it. The Dragon's Bead, or Bed. No, it's probably Bead, because it's a jewel. And Spirit's Invitation. So we're just a little under half what we want. Oh yeah, there's a hollow in there. Fushinotori. Frontier Wiseman, the statue of Easter Island. My boy, this is a f f just cool looking card. <laughs> I love the simple looking cards with the cool artwork. It's awesome. Gora Turtle, Dark Scorpion Burglars, Maiden of the Aqua, Statue of the Wicked. Huh, no hollow. I was fooled. The Dark Door, another card I used in my Exodia deck. You can only attack with one monster per turn. The Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler. Spring of Rebirth. Skull Lair. Cool looking card. Tutan Mask. Or Tutan Mask. Ah, oh, we got ourselves a Needle Worm. So we've got Morphing Jar, Needle Worm, Fiber Jar, all of those milling cards. Great Long Nose, you got that right. Holy. Spirit View. Muka Muka. Bird Face. The Unhappy Maiden. Poor girl. Ooh, whoa! Hinokago Tsuchi. This guy was already ultra rare, though. What was the point of even reprinting him in this set if he was... Hey, pretty cool. That's awesome. There we go. Nice. Cool, cool. Alright, that's one of our ultras that we got. Hopefully, the other one is... Or that dark guy, the Fierce Knight. Assuming it comes ultra. Tremendous Fire. Smoke Grenade of the Thief, Bark of Dark Ruler, Fatal Abacus, and another disappear. Last pack on the left. Well, I kind of butchered that pack opening, whatever. Mucus Yoke, what the heck, Aqua Spirit. Woodland Sprite, I always thought he was cool. Reminds me of Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. Just reminds me of the, the forest in general from Ocarina. Kaiser Seahorse. A skill of hero number two. What are you doing here? Hoshingen. Karibo. Ah, little Karibo. There you are. <laughs> awesome. Tip card. Second coin toss. Legendary Ocean. Share the pain. Oh, this, this pack's, uh... Oh, this card's, like, completely bent. Can I get that in the light? There you go. See, it's a little bent right there. Huh. Dang, how did that happen? Good thing it wasn't a hollow. Bad reaction to Simochi and another Reckless Greed. Cool, we almost have a playset. Now it is time that we move on to the second half of the box. And we have three of our predicted seven hollows, or possibly only six. Not even sure if secrets come in this set, to be honest. Didn't even check Gora Turtle, Yadagarasu, Dark Scorpion Burglars, Maiden of the Aqua. Launcher Spider, 
Another Needle Worm. Blast with Chain. This was actually not half bad back then. Book of Tayu. Nice. Stamping Destruction. Bark of Dark Ruler. Disappear again. And Ordeal of a Traveler. The commons are stacking high now. <laughs> Great Long Nose again. Thunder Dragon, I think we almost have a place out of that now. Spirit Ryu, Muka Muka, the Immortal of Thunder, Bird Face, and Total Defense Shogun, whoa! Another card I haven't seen. Whoa. This card has changed defense position when it is normal summoned or flip summoned successfully. This card can attack while it is in defense position. If this card attacks while in defense position, apply the attack of this card for damage calculation. That's why they call him Total Defense Shogun. 2500 defense, only one tribute. Interesting card, I guess I can't argue with that. That's pretty cool. We're good for one more super, I believe. Nice. Well, it's nice whenever I get a card that I haven't seen before. Block attack. Fusion Sage. Bad reaction to Simoshi, Robin Goblin, and Toon Defense. The Unhappy Maiden. Luminous Soldier again. Mucus Yoke. Aqua Spirit. Possessed Dark Soul. Woodland Sprite. And Royal Command. Negate the flip effects. Tip card. Double Snare. Shield and Sword. Pretty cool. Nice. Wing Beat of Giant Dragon. That one was pretty good. I remember that. Bottomless Shifting Sand. Another Trap Dust Shoot. Not bad at all. Kaiser Seahorse. Troop Dragon. A Skillo Hero number two. Hoshinge. Hoshinge? Yeah, okay. Exiled Force. Giant Axe Mummy. I always thought he was cool. And. Yep. Ryu Senshi. Wow, what a weird looking dude. Very odd. Oh, a Kibio Drakmord. <laughs> this card. I remember running that for a little bit. It used to be good. Share the Pain. Grave Robbers Retribution. Dark Spirit of the Silent. And Fatal Abacus. Yadagarasu again, holy, we can make a spirit deck. Serpentine Princess, two-headed King Rex, very cool. Hey, look at that Tiger Axe. <laughs> that card, like, never gets used in the show. Like, you, I think you see it in somebody's hand, Joey's hand or something. And then it, like, never gets used, maybe, like, a couple times. This might be the only pack it comes in, too. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. Sagi the Dark Clown. Toon, Masked Sorcerer, and Bazoo, the Soul Eater. Spirit Message A. Still don't have that Destiny board. Timidity. Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, Magical Thorn, and Bad Reaction to Samochi. Cave Dragon. Pretty cool. Bladefly. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Skull Knight number two. Thought he was pretty cool also. I think I have a playset <clears throat> from Legacy of Darkness. Mystic Horseman. Dice Jar, there we go. We got another Jar card. And Ring of Magnetism. This wasn't too bad, actually. Have you equipped it to, like, a Marshmallow or something? <laughs> Spring of Rebirth. Fusion Sage. Mira oh, another Mirage of Nightmare, nice. Where's our emergency provisions so we can perform the Jaden combo? First Breath, Dragon's Rage. One of those packs are stacking up. Cruel? Cruel, maybe? I don't know. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. There he is. Now we can make him. All we need is a polymerization. Gilasaurus. Shadow Tamer. Censored right there. The Wicked Worm Beast. Very cool card. One of Kaiba's first. Royal Keeper. Command Knight. Nice. Definitely a worthy knight. Man, but where's my Blade Knight? I don't even know what rarity he comes. Command Knight, nice. So that is all of the supers that we can get. Book of Tayu. Magic Reflector, that's a cool card. It's cool looking. Bubble Crash, Curse of Royal. Skull Lair. 
Just a few more. One, two, three, four, five more. Jeez. Jowls of Dark Demise. That is crazy. I remember that. Dragon Seeker. Oh, heck yeah. This is a card I've always wanted. It's so cool looking. When this card is normal, summon or flip summon. Destroy one face of dragon on the field. Pretty cool. Grey Wing. Toon Gemini Elf. There it is. Mechanical Chaser. Man, I love this card before. In my very first machine deck. Inaba White Rabbit. Witch of the Black Forest. This was... Yes. Whenever I got a Dark Beginning pack, this was the card that I pulled. I remember that specifically. Because it was... It was good. I remember it being pretty good. Super Rejuvenation. Oh yeah, this was like... I used that in my OTK Exodia deck with dragons before. Restructor Revolution. Cyclone Laser. Gradius. Freaking Gradius cards. Can we get some uh, support for that, please? Blind Destruction. True. Oh, whoops. The Dragon Speed. Spirit Ryu again, the Bistro Butcher, Dark Scorpion Burglars, Wandering Mummy, Shining Friendship, Mario Kutai, Cyberstein, holy, we want to talk about band cards? Dang, pull a freaking Cyberstein. Wasn't he like super valuable or something? Is there a, there's like a, a version of him, like a tournament pack or something, or a champion pack? I forget what it's called. Convulsion of Nature? Heart of Clearwater, Needlewall, Bark of Dark Rule, and another Bottomless Trap Hole. Awesome. One for each deck now. I'm surprised we've only gotten two of these. Myla's Radiant, Goddess with the Third Eye. Whoa, Lord of the Lamp, what the heck is that? Another card I haven't seen, that's so cool. It's like a knockoff Jin. Little Chimera, Lesser Fiend, Arsenal Bug. In sweat. Oh yeah, look at that. Awesome. That that that's a cool ultra. I'll settle for that. Insect Queen. Although considering this is a very dragon and warrior driven set, I was kind of surprised, but that's awesome. Bolden Insect Queen. That's cool. I like that. Awesome. Very nice. Very cool. And with only two packs left after this, we are going to close it off there. Another Super Rejuvenation, Dark Door, Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, Destruction Punch, The Emperor's Holiday. Look at that guy. He's got his day off. Good for him. Toon Goblin Attack Force. Maharagi. Patrician of Darkness. I always thought that that was Pediatrician of Darkness, and it confused me to no end, but now I can have a good laugh about that. Warrior Diagreffer. The Statue of Easter Island again, fantastic. Opticlops. Horn of Heaven. Not a bad card, actually. Not a bad card. Warrior Returning Alive. Spirit Message N. Dragon's Gunfire. Soul Demolition. And Drop Off. This is it, our final pack of Dark Beginning 2, the last little bit of nostalgia to savor until God knows when I ever do this again. So let's just bask in this moment. Hey, look at that, Gemini Elf. Nice. It's a good card. Good card. Otohime. Troop Dragon, we may have a play set of that now. Axe Raider. Ah, oh, classic. So cool. Fushinotori, Machine King, my man, he was my man for a bit, and we have ourselves a Dark Balter, the Terrible. Yeah, <laughs> Terrible is right, because that was a terrible way to go out. Now, uh, Convulsion of Nature, whoa, almost knocked over the whole stack. Pyramid Energy, Tutton Mask, Spirit's Invitation, I got the Destiny Board, got the Destiny Board, alright, not bad, not bad at all. A little recap. Let's go for the rares, I guess. Dark Balter, Horn of Heaven, Cyberstein. I'm gonna check the price on that just in case. Witch of the Black Forest, Ring of Magnetism, Bazoo the Soul Eater, Ryu Senchi, 
uh, or Sen yeah, Senshi. Royal Command, Blast with Chain, Karibo, Statue of the we Wicked, Blast Turn, Pyramid Turtle, Morphing Jar, Sasuke Samurai, Reinforcement of the Army, Fiber Jar, and Jogan the Spiritualist. And for our Hollows, we have Spear Dragon is our first super, Air Knight Parshath, a Total Defense Shogun, very cool card, Command Knight for our final super, and our two ultra rares are Hinokagutsuchi and Insect Queen. Pretty cool stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. Could have been better. Could have pulled one of the freaking guys on the cover, you know what I'm saying? But, eh. Can't win them all, I guess. Well, that was Dark Beginning 2, and that was my little trip of nostalgia. Merry Christmas, everybody. And, uh, as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.